<sighs> is a miracle amazing. Oh my god, she... I want the feeling to go away and get it better by the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um... Okay, let's let's see let's see what's on the radio here. This is gonna be something. We have Pat on the line. Hi Pat. Hello, Doctor Betty. Hi Pat. What's on your mind? Mm, like Betty. My husband bam, doesn't bam. want me anymore. Do you know why? He doesn't find me attractive. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Is there something wrong with you? I don't think so. Your husband just all of a sudden stopped being attracted to you. Yes. You don't have sex anymore? Not for two years. And I can't figure it out. I never felt unattractive before. But now I'm starting to feel like maybe I am ugly. That maybe I've been deluding myself all of my life. Mm. Maybe when people said that I was beautiful, they were just being nice. What do you look like? <laughs> what do you mean? Describe yourself. How are you actually ugly? Well, I'm... I'm very oh, tall. That might be a thing. About 5'10". That's and a I very have long tall. blonde hair. I have very high cheekbones. Uh, my body oh. is shapely. I have a shapely. 36, 24, 36 figure. A lot of men tell me I look like that Italian actress, um, Sophia Loren. Well, Pat, it sounds like your husband needs a healthy dose of testosterone if he can't manage to have sex with somebody who looks like you. Oh, he's having sex. With whom? With mom. Your husband who? is having sex with your mother? For the past two years. Oh. How long have you known this? Okay. I just found out last week. I went over to mom's house to help her change her sheets. You help your mother change her sheets? Yeah. She has yeah. trouble getting around, She's doing housework. 95 years old. You see, she weighs 600 pounds. 600 pounds? <laughs> oh she's my very big god! Big, and she's pushing 68. She's 68 years old? Oh my anyway, god! Why is it to old fat chicks? All right. I found a box of letters. Uh huh. Love letters from George to mom. Oh. Very lewd. Love <laughs> oh. Well, it's pretty simple, Pat. Your husband is a geriatric obesophile. A whatophile? A what now? He likes porking fat old women. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> what can I do to get him back? <laughs> you want him back? Are you nuts? This guy is screwing your mother. <laughs> I love him. Oh. Well... You better start feeding your face, because that's the only way you're going to get him back. So go out and get a bag of potato chips, Pat. I'm Dr. Betty. <laughs> what the f... Okay. Okay, that is not where I thought that was going. Oh, well. All right. Let's all get potato chips, I guess. Oh, my God. Well, thanks, Dr. Betty. That was, that was quite the insight. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, I can get into Jody's room. That's interesting. Let's go to the study and see what horrible things he's read now. Ooh. Hey, here we go. Nice, smooth, taking up the stairs. Let's go into this very thin door. Let's see what's up. It, you know, this game is certainly something. I'm not sure it's a game, but it sure is something. <sighs> uh, sex was fantastic. We have kids, we have a house. I have to have incredible sex. <laughs> mm. She was stupid. Virgil splitting up. Uh... <sighs> I saw a room in Tracy, a friend of hers from high school. She was a hippie chick with tattoos and a pierced belly button. She was very pretty and she had an amazing body. When she, and she was always flirting with me. And one night, Tracy and I got really drunk and ended up in bed. The sex... Oh, come on. Michael, 
you are get you are really difficult to like. You are really, really, really difficult to like. You are putting up all these walls, man. This lady finds out the really bizarre. Tracy told me that Allison encouraged her to have sex with me. Oh. She told uh, Tracy that she didn't care about me anymore. What? I just, uh, sexy one. Um, she found if it was only Azure. Okay. What? What is this story? Why did you marry this woman then? If she only wanted you back after you had sex with her friend. Ha. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow, this household is fucked up. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Then I went <laughs> to have the hippy dippy food co op and bought about 50 bucks worth of healthy food crap. On the way home, I stopped off uh, at the driving range and blasted some balls onto the fence. Okay. Alright, I guess that's also very. Uh, that's a that's a way to to get your um, your angers out, I suppose. I dread going to bed, and so sleep so rigidly like a corpse. I want to run from the house, run from her. Uh, I'm going to yeah yeah. It's starting to rain. Oh God. Scarecrow dream. Run the store. Coma doctor. Uh, I lick my lips and taste. Oh boy. Oh boy, Michael. Oh boy, Michael. Um, what? Uh, yeah, touching his little body. Super thrill. Unexpected desire. Hashtag unexpected desire. Uh, in the dream, walking through the house of Plato, nobody is home. Everything is quiet. I can't see his face. Arm's length. State, uh, I stare with horror at his hands, nailed in the own boards. Cake to dry blood. Good, good God, man. It's, um, <laughs> I mean, I was just, it's just, yeah, it's, uh, I'm, yeah, I don't know. This is, and th that's just her. Oh, what books do we have here? Is the Shame Boy still on the shelf? Do we have something new? Nope, still hugging the Shame Boy. Nope, we've, we have, we have read all about hugging the Shame Boy, aka masturbation, and we don't need anything else. From that, uh, let's peek in the nurse room because you know maybe she has written something saucy. And <laughs> more hand fetish, yes. <laughs> yes, that that is what I'm gathering as well here, Grimith. Uh, it is um, it is a complex relationship. Uh, that I don't, I don't... Anyone here? No? Okay. Let's, let's, let's snoop. Let's snoop. Let's, let's what here? Terrible sadness permeates this house. Oh yeah, maybe she's a little bit psychic as well. Uh, we'd be easy living here to get uh, sucked into it. There's a... I think you should have a shower your way to it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a great day. I still did with Michael. And so all-encompassing, so overwhelming. Her affection for me. She still did with Michael. She and my man sex. I was surprised that she revealed so much to me. A silence to trust me. Michael's lack of sex might explain something about the attraction between us. Oh, great. When he came in from mowing the lawn, I could feel the heat pouring off his naked chest. He smelled so good, like grass and dirt. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, he tries to deny Alison's anger, but it's clear that he, f he feels it on some level. Can't help but feel it. He's in a lot of pain. He suffers almost as much as Alison does. Maybe more. Michael wants his wife back. All of her. I know exactly how he feels. Uh, both need me. Damage limit uh, therapy. Narrow. Yes, got to for Turner. Apparently, Michael complained about me. It sounds as if Turner handled it well. Still, though, I'm going to have to find more effective means of dealing with Michael. Like a gun. I mean, what? I do what want to help him, 
if he'll let me. But if he won't, I simply can't allow him to interfere with my work with Allison. Uh, <laughs> see you later, Double Moss. Thanks for hanging out. I really enjoy working with Allison today. We went a long time among the returned attendants as a groom herself. Groom herself? Okay. Uh, so Colette let me back. But, oh no. It's another sex thing. Bring hands together. Yep, hands again. Fingertips pressed against each other. It's your fingertips she inserted a marble. My task, she said, was not to allow the marbles to drop, no matter what, uh, where or how she touched me. She said if one marble dropped, she'd stop. I think I'll meditate. <laughs> yes, I must meditate on this. Uh, should we listen to this crap? This was pretty crappy last time. What do you got for me? Something very interesting happened today. We were making dinner and Allison cut her finger while chopping vegetables. Uh -huh. It was a bad cut, but she just quietly stared with fascination at the blood dripping out of the wound. <laughs> I overcame my urge to bind the finger because I knew something important was happening. Yeah, she was bleeding all over the food. I figured she was having a flashback to the accident. Oh, right. I wonder what somebody would have said if they had just seen me watching her bleed like that, but... I couldn't interrupt it though. I had to see where it would lead. <laughs> the blood, I After mean. After about a minute, it seemed a lot longer. She started to tremble uncontrollably. And that's when I stepped in and washed and bound the wound. Allison didn't say a word for a couple of hours. She sat at the kitchen table, staring into space. Well? It reminded me of when we went bike riding that one time and you flew over the handlebars and landed on your palms in the gravel and you just sat there plucking the stones from your bloody hands with the serene wrapped expression on your face you told me that you love things like that because what because they made you feel so alive oh <sighs> great I wonder if Allison was thinking about life. Yeah, maybe she was. Death. Maybe she was. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Maybe hurting yourself, cutting yourself to feel alive is something completely, completely normal. Maybe. The next TAT. Yeah. Will let's let's go to that. Let's let's. <laughs> yes, she was thinking. Why? Why didn't you help me? Oh. Oh. Oh, great. Hi. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that Michael went to see Turner. I half expected it. What is Turner this, what is this framing? Why is she like middle a little bit him. to the left here? Why is this all space to the right here? If you went back to work and let me get on with my This job. is the angle you do when I'm you have a monster a coming in from that angle to grab it her. It would be a considerable improvement if I didn't have to explain myself every step of the way. He's so resistant. And the biggest part of my job is trying to untangle the mess he's created for the past six months. Oh, geez, lady. Turner's not much help either. He's better than most of them, but it never ceases to amaze me how out of touch psychiatrists can be with what's really troubling their patients. Well, okay. Aren't you a psychiatrist, sort of? Is that a child crying? Oh God! Oh God! What am I listening to? No! 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 I don't. Oh no! I don't want this. Help! Help! Oh God! Why? Hmm. Oh God. Oh God. Okay, paintings. Sure. When you've concluded this test. You will return. No, no, let's, let's, oh, why is everything moaning in here? What is this over here? Oh, it's an Etch-a-Sketch. Great. What's on it? It's, wh what? What? What the fuck is on this Etch-a-Sketch? What? What? Help? What? Moaning in the background. Help! Send help! 
I need to get out of here. I need to... Oh, someone please help. Yes, let's let's take the test and get out of here. This this is this is freaking me out now. I mm, yes. When you yeah 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 yeah. yeah. The get. title of this is throwing pennies in a wishing well. Do wishes really come true? <laughs> yes, if you wish hard enough. Sometimes no, it's just miss. I mean, a wish can come true, but it's not by the powerful magical pro properties of a wishing well. It's more like you doing something and working towards what you want or I guess randomness random luck can go your way and make a wish come true I suppose uh, so I mean a wish can come true but it's not by the magical power of wishing it so uh, this is a myth the child who drew this Oof. is <laughs> disturbed imaginative abused humorous yeah, I was thinking sort of abuse because this looks very. I don't know what this is. I don't know why he has this axe hand. I mm, yeah, he's abused. When I was a kid, I pretended to be ill. What on earth is going on here? Is that is that smell coming off? Yeah, this is. I, I've said this before. I think when you were gone as well. That this is decent paintings. All of these. This is terrible things. Also, there's butt smell coming off this person. And drool. What is this? What, what is this? <sighs> when I was a kid, I pretended to be ill once in a while, so I could stay home and watch TV. If a bullet at school was picking on me, if I had to take a test that instead of for. Uh, no, I I definitely pretended to be ill so I could stay home and watch TV. That is if my true. dog bites somebody. I am responsible. Um, I think so. Yeah, I think if your dog bites someone, you are probably responsible for that. It's your dog. I mean, the dog did it, but you should probably train your dog not to bite people, honestly. Uh, <laughs> yes, Let's see if I can export the... Um, the the image files here, so I can put it, put it in this stuff. This is a carload of... Aliens goes regular people can't tell. I think it's regular people. Making up fantasy games. Cultivist imagination is is not healthy. Not healthy. It's good if it doesn't take over reality. I I think fantasy games cultivate the imagination. That's the role player I am. The best game to play at a birthday party is uh, past the orange? What? What is this? Is this a euphemism? Again, this fe feels like some some American thing that I'm not... I, I don't know what this is. Can someone in chat tell me what passing the orange is? <laughs> Crocket... Um, spin the bottle... Hit the piñata. I've never, I've never been in a party to hit a piñata. Uh, I have done this, although it was a horse, not a donkey. I, yeah, I don't know what past the orange is. That is, I want to, I want to know, but I don't know. Croquet, no, that's boring. Spin the bottle. Ah, spin the bottle can be fun. Can be fun. You learn some embarrassing uh, secrets about people. Sure. Which title is most appropriate for this drawing? <laughs> Mummy, I drew a picture. <laughs> Zombie, Eggman, Mummy. Uh, oh, that's a zombie. That, that is. That is a zombie. Childhood oh, is. Oh God! Because you're. Apparently, you trap an orange between your chin and body and have it to pass a. Okay, that does sound fun. Uh, fun, uh, I guess. A childhood is blank because you're blank. Scary because you're small. Blissful because you're protected. Lonely because you're helpless. <laughs> All of the above. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, childhood can be scary. And blissful and lonely. That really depends on... Really depends on your family, I guess. 
I, yeah, it's all of the above, I believe. Yeah, and that does look like a gun, and a child laying on a bed with blood everywhere. Children who explore their bodies are... What is this? Is this a ball of penises? Attacking children? What? What is this? Children who explore their bodies are dirty, normal, and curious. Ah, uh, they're normal. Children explore their bodies. It's normal. Mothers eventually have to let go of their children. Uh, yes, I, I certainly believe so. I believe that as a parent, it is your duty to get out of the way. You should, you, you bring up your child as, as well as you can, and then you you need to step aside. And let the, uh, the children, uh, the children go on their own. Oh, here we are. Also, my hair is different again. Or, I mean, Michael's hair, I suppose. Excuse me. Yes? This thing with the television. What thing? Bringing a set in and actually hooking it up. What about it? Well, it's ridiculous. Oh? Why? Who's gonna watch it? Who listens when you come in and say goodnight to Jody? Is that ridiculous, too? Allison does. I do that for her. Then do this for her, too. Everything that I'm doing is for Allison. And I'd appreciate it if you weren't so critical of every move that I make. Dick. I'm not critical. Uh, yeah, questioning. You, you are. You're quite critical. Then why did you complain to Dr. Turner about me? Oh, so that's what this is all about. No. What this is about is you interfering in a very critical process about which you know very little. Yeah, I, I'm signed with Catherine here. Progress? Of course I am. I, you're... Can't you see how well she's doing? I'm not so sure she is making progress. She's downstairs making your breakfast. And she's happy. Her happiness is all based on illusion. I mean, she thinks Jody survived the accident. You're encouraging her. You coddled her illusion for six months, and you had a depressed, dysfunctional wife all that time. Whoa! Shots fired. I've been here for two days, and you're already seeing results. Do you want me to leave? No. Then I insist you permit me to do my work the way it has to be done. Dick. Jesus, Michael. What a what a what a dude. Holy crap. Meh. Get a stupid TV. The stairs where I keep it. Great. Please don't have porn on this. Thank you. It's done. Oof. What's she watching? Oh, um, I turned the set off. She was sleeping. She'll be so excited when she wakes up, don't you think? I am starving. It's been a long time since I've had Allison's pancakes. These are delicious. Thank you. Look wonderful, honey. Catherine thinks we should get a pet for Jody. I also changed my hair again. A what? A little dog like Punky. Punky? Mm. Animals are out of the question. What are you thinking about? Just trying to find ways to bring life back into the house, Mr. Overton. She's right, Michael. You want life in the house yeah, again? Jody's so confined, it might be too much of a tease. Or an inspiration. We could get one just like Punky. Oh yeah, Punky. The one I killed with okay. the car. I mean, what? Go to the animal shelter. I'll see if they have one like Punky. And if they don't, I'll just ask them to let us know the minute one comes in. Well, why not get a different kind? Allison, from what you told me about her dog's death and how painful it was, we shouldn't remind her of it. She does have a point. Don't you think so, Michael? I mean, I... I guess so. Will you do it? Okay. Thank you, Michael. You're the most wonderful husband ever. Wow. <laughs> oh, these pregnant looks. Oh, we're back here. Uh, no, uh, but no, you can't go in there. Look, Mrs. Greenstreet, I just need five minutes of his time. It's important. What the fuck? 
What's going on here? I was watching my it, porn. I'm sorry to barge in on you like this, Dr. Turner, but Catherine, I mean, Mrs. Randolph is really going too far. I thought she was doing rather well. She had me put a television in Jody's room, and now she's making me go to the animal shelter to get a dog. A dog? Yes, for Jody. Can you believe it? Michael, Mrs. Randolph. <laughs> Michael. Does know what she's doing. Michael, shut the fuck up. I don't think so. Michael. Really? Shut the fuck up. Come on in. <laughs> oh. Hello, Michael. Michael is concerned with your approach to Alison's therapy. Yes, I heard. Catherine was just telling me that Alison, in fact, has recovered a lot of energy and that her lethargy has disappeared. Yeah, so lethargy. Would you agree? Yes. I guess so. Please, down. Seem unsure. Yes, she has a lot of energy. She's also free of any indication of depression. Well, that sounds good. <laughs> well, that sounds very good. Well, that sounds very good. Is this true, Michael? That's how it appears to be, but <laughs> Alice still believes that our daughter's alive, and Catherine's making it worse. Yeah, it's like day three right making now. Making what worse? Her condition. Your wife is actually showing some initial signs of recovery. Michael, returning to normal for Alison is going to be a complex and delicate journey. Now, I can see that you're feeling left out, but you can be very helpful in her recovery. And what's needed most, indeed the most essential ingredient, is your cooperation. <laughs> oh, the smile do you think I Catherine. should do what Catherine says? Yes, I think it would be most helpful. And I should get her the dog. Yeah, I think it's a wonderful idea. I love dogs. Oh, wow, that smile. It just kills it. Jesus. Is Michael gonna murder Catherine? It sort of feels that way to me. Oh, I can see hi. Now that Michael was more upset than I'd realized. Yeah, well. I thought at the time that he was just confused by the process and that simply focusing on the results might put him at ease, but now it seems that what's troubling him most is the dynamic between Michael and Catherine. And this isn't good. At least in my humble opinion. What do you think? I, mm. Is Alison conscious of Michael's sexual desires? Uh, yes, I think that she certainly sees that. Um, yes. Alison is more conscious of things going on around her than she reveals. Hmm. Hmm. That is an interesting question. Yes, I see. I think the wife is also harboring some sort of secret here. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, John Hurt certainly had some distractions in his office. Uh, certainly did. Uh, yes, I do agree. I think the wife is here. Is it a good something. idea to put a television in Jody's room? I. I don't fucking know, man. It, I mean, what harm could it do? That again, should you foster it? I, I don't know, I have no opinion. My sexual appetite is... Oh my god, here we go again. Ravenous, meager... <laughs> it's just right. Get that picture with the dude. <laughs> with the arrow and the, the just right. Um... I'd rather not say. I think my sexual... If if you ask me, my sexual appetite is just right. Catherine was in my office under innocent circumstances. Uh... Yes. I don't think Catherine would fuck Dr. Turner. I don't, Dr. Tur I don't think Dr. Turner would 
fuck Catherine, uh, I think that was innocent circumstances. <laughs> yes, Goldilocks had three sexual appetites. <laughs> Catherine is acting in Alison's best interest. Um, I think that she thinks she is. I did see that smug smile. I think she is. Does Michael want Alison to recover? Hmm. Well, we did find that uh, article about Munchauser by proxy, so... Uh, yeah, I, you know, he's a bit of a dick, but I sort of want to think the best of him, so yeah. As a child, I enjoyed myself most... <laughs> When I was alone, participating in an event, and when I was being entertained. I mean, you enjoy yourself if you're being entertained. It's sort of the same thing here. Was it company of family or friends? Most happy. Enjoyed myself most. I don't know. I certainly, I certainly like hanging out with, with friends. That makes me happy. Although I certainly want to be alone sometimes too. That also makes me happy. So, I don't know. I don't know. Family and friends. Alison and Catherine share secrets. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Where's the maybe? Agree, disagree. I mean, they seem to be very friendly. Secrets, though? Secrets? I don't know. <laughs> Damn right they do. I've <laughs> already seen that. I guess. I guess there'd be a lot of uh, pregnant smiles and, and meditations and whatnot. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's true. Special disorders of sexual desire. Great. Great. <sighs> she was again halting. There's just one thing I want to know. She says, have you talked to many people like us? I mean, is this a common situation? Common? Try epidemic. The topic under discussion is sexual desire. An instinct that ought to flow as freely as the urge for a fine meal or the inclination to sleep. But for an estimate of 1 in 5 Americans, some 38 million adults, it doesn't flow at all. For 9 million more, it flows completely out of control. <laughs> yes, it's on the case. <laughs> thanks, thanks Valkyrie. Sexual desire disorders is, uh, constitute uh, the leading problem. The leading problem, okay. Ah, uh, sex therapist, yeah. Uh, more visible, 60s, yes, uh, sex has changed profoundly. And uh, the birth control pill, uh huh. Simultaneously, new culture message glorified casual sex. Now, from uh, seductive clothes as estimated things in monthly sex scenes on prior uh, that's a lot of sex scenes. Free sex is much a principal symbol of good life. Sexual health is uh, blah blah blah. So seek help. <laughs> the daily juggles, huh? Yes, I, I, I. Mm -hmm. Controlling sex with control fear. Hype, hypoactive sexual desires. Okay, sure. Uh huh. Causes. The memories began just after fa father's funeral. Oh come on, come on. This is uh, as a quiet dude childhood. Oh my god, this Freud shit. My god, uh, when his was en having endured sexual, physical, emotional abuse, yeah, it's Freud is so... Freud is spinning with a cigar. Childbirth is stress, mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, all right, I bet you were born for that. Uh, treatment. I can't, I can't! Donna sobbed, curling herself into a fetal ball on the bed. Donna's husband, Vince, lay naked beside her. Their homework, as assigned by the therapist, 
had been uh, set aside 15 minutes during which Vince was to gently explore Donna's breasts and genitals while Donna told him what felt good. But as Donna had guided Vince's hands across her rigid body, she had felt nothing whatsoever. It's a waste of time, she cried. Nothing ever is going to change. I don't want to go back to therapy, she replied. We have no choice. Okay, rekindling sexual desire, yes. Compulsive sexual desire. My, how much is there? Causes, oh god, treatment, religious, celebrity, sure. I don't think that's the treatment. It's probably future, oh, whatever. My god. My god. Okay, what's in here? Hello. I'm just exasperated. I started out very, very cheery, and now I'm just exasperated. Can be a wretched fool. That's something to write in your, in your patient notes, I guess. I guess it's the person. Oh my god! I can't. No, I'm done. I'm done reading this. I'm done. We're done. We need. To, we need to go. We need to go. Back to the office. Please get me out of here. Oh, the TV. Should I click the TV again? This is gonna be the same thing on the TV. Oh, I kind of want to find... Okay, let's click the TV. Let's find out. Let's find out what's on TV. Many persons think that psychiatry consists of only one thing. Psychoanalysis. Actually, psychoanalysis is a prolonged and very specialized form of treatment. It properly can be given only by a doctor qualified as a psychiatrist and fully trained in the exact specialty of psychoanalysis. Treatment may go on for years. What? I'm so excited. I can't what? wait till Michael gets back. What? A dog. Can oh. you imagine? Jody, who is filming you? Everything is Why does Dr. Turner have survived. this? I'm sorry. I just never thought Oh, I can't. So oh, that's great. Thanks. It's wonderful. I just can't. I mean, the game did certainly promise me uh, to have to evaluate me. Oh, great. One of the prerequisites of being a good doctor is to be sure the staff is on their <laughs> toes. Wow. Wow. What's this? Either we've just been invaded or there's an emergency. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, God. Oh god, I need to get out of here. Where's the test? Dr. Turner, your office freaks me out. Please let it be a test in here. Oh great, tarot cards. Wonderful. When yes, yes. Why don't we dabble a bit in the realm of the psychic? <laughs> sure! Here's a little game to test your powers of extrasensory perception. Oh, oh, my powers, huh? You will observe four cards face up on my table, <sighs> and a fifth card that is face down. Yeah. Look at the symbols on the face of the up cards. Square, triangle, circle, plus sign. The face down card is one of these four. Uh huh. This is what I want you to do. Concentrate. Uh -huh. Use all your psychic abilities. <laughs> Form a mental picture of the hidden card and tell me what symbol is on its face. Oh, my God. oh John Hurt. Make your choice. You bit into the hippy dippy food that was bought, right? The hash brownies? The image oh. on the face down. Oh, I was supposed to answer. I'm sorry. Be changed after each turn. Very well. Let's begin. It's a circle. So, because the first triangle is going to be circle. Relax. Okay. Uh, well, it hopped one, so it's going to hop one again to triangle. Concentrate. Nope. <laughs> John Hurt, is this really necessary? Relax. I'm just going to keep. I'm just going to keep clicking this. You're trying too hard. Am I? Don't give yourself a headache. <laughs> how many how many snippets of this is there? Relax. Let your thoughts flow. Is it just Yes, yes. Well then. Oh come back again and we'll give it another go.
That was the test? Wow. What a great what, what a great test game. Thanks, Dr. Turner. That was Did very insightful. In My back. god. That dog does not sound very happy. She's beautiful. Jody will love her. Does she have a name? Oh, eh. I don't know it. Oh, Jody can name her. How cute. Mm. Don't you love no. her? Yeah, she's cute. No. No, Let's those dogs me, are not for me. Oh, I don't like ahead. those I'm dogs go at all. In the back. That is a dog that if it goes Thank through you, anything, Michael. it like Thank it gets so much, much mud and crap in its fur. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mm. Oh, oh, she did a kissy to him. Wow. <laughs> yes, look, it's already. Oh, Clonk. Yeah, I don't know what dog breed that was. I just know that those types of dogs I don't like. That fur, no. No. They're, they're small, jappy dogs, and I don't like them. <laughs> oh, might have been. Let's get another beer. I need a beer. It's like in the middle of the. Yep. <laughs> Just take out a beer. Allison! <laughs> oh. Oh my god, Grimmie, you fucking called it. No it's gotta, it's house. gotta be Jody. It's laying Flying on the bed. Oh. Oh. What's that? I rescued you from the pound, remember? You'll regret that. Whoa, dude! Whoa! Allison! Whoa! Allie! You in here? I hear mysterious music. I hear mysterious music. Jesus. Will you please be quiet? We're trying to develop some concentration. Ha ha ha! Okay. Alright. And by concentration, I mean naked. And is drinking, yes. Oh, the dog can get up there. Leon, it's Michael. Not Liam? too bad. How about yourself? Well, he's taking on a full-time nurse. Seems to be working out well enough where I think I can finally come back to work. Oh, yes, finally. Get back to work. Thanks, Leon. I appreciate it. Well, she's a therapist, actually. Oh, I'd say she has things under control, to say the least. Okay. Great. I'll see you tomorrow. They were talking way too fast for that to be an actual phone call. Okay, sure. Jody decided to name her new dog Punky. Oh, even though she looks nothing like the first Punky. What does Catherine have to say about that? Oh, she thinks it's a good choice. You know, I have I changed my hair you, again. But I guess you were in Catherine's room. She's teaching me meditation. Mm. What was it like? It's wonderful. No, I mean, what did you do? We meditated. Yeah, but Sexually. what's meditation all about? I didn't know you had such an interest in meditation, Mr. Overton. I'm curious about a lot of things. Perhaps you should try a session with me. <laughs> I don't think Michael's quite ready for that yet. You know, I'm thinking about Whoa. going back to work oh. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, wonderful, you, Michael. Yeah, that you is wonderful. You need to get out of the house. You, yeah, you need to get serious. out. You just need to get out, honestly. <laughs> okay. Oh. Fine. And tomorrow you're on your own. <laughs> yeah. Not exactly. I've got Catherine to take care of me. Well, well, well. Well, things really are looking up, aren't they? I mean... doing extremely well. Michael's going back to work. That Catherine really is impressive. Oh, no. Though I can't help but be a little curious about her meditation sessions with Alison. wonder what they're actually doing in there. Yeah, I, I think I know what they're doing in there. Don't you? I, no, I know what's up in there. She opened her door and she was not dressed. And I tend to be a person who reads manuals first. Um, 
that really depends. If I'm building a computer and say, uh, then I would definitely look at the motherboard manual uh, before doing anything else. Um, <laughs> you only know everything. It depends. Should Michael meditate with Catherine? Um, I mean, I mean, what? I don't know, should he? I mean, that could be very funny to see, I suppose. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right, sure, yes, he should. I think I have a tumor somewhere in my head. Uh, not until you mentioned it, thanks. Uh, no, no, I don't think so. It is better never to deceive anyone. It's better never to deceive anyone. Mm. Never to deceive anyone. No, I can certainly think of a few times where it would be better to deceive someone, like if your life depended on it. But generally, you shouldn't lie, certainly. Uh, never. Though. Never is a strong word. Never ever. I would say that is false. The best kind of sex is with a complete stranger. <laughs> Depends on the stranger. Uh, no, that that is. Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think with a sex with complete stranger is the best kind of sex. Although, no. Catherine is a wholesome person. Wholesome. Wholesome. I don't know what this means in this context. Wholesome, like she's good. That she's a, like a nice person? <laughs> yes. A wholesome person. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what that means in this regard. I, I, uh, <laughs> She got the whole package. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think I have an opinion on Catherine's wholesomeness because I'm not sure what it means. There we go. Oh gosh. Well. It's gonna be the sexy, uh, sexy hypnotist again here. Buckle up for safety. Oh great. And this porn picture. All right, all right, sure, sure, sure. Uh, Let's, we haven't been to the living room in a while. Oh. Let's see what's in here. Or on here. What's on the shelves? Shattered dreams, broken hearts, surviving children, something, something. This is, uh, no, no, we're not gonna. No, I'm done. I'm done reading those books. Done reading the books. Uh, let's let's see what filthy, filthy, uh, inexcusable things Michael has written on his computer. Oh, oh, great! Hi. Can you believe this? I mean, I mean, first the television, and then the goddamn dog. A dog. This is too much. Dude, chill. My daughter's. She's dead. Mm -hmm. And my wife just can't. She can't accept it. She cannot accept it. I thought it. when Catherine got here we'd get rid of these fantasies, but this is, this is just ridiculous. I don't know. I hope things would get better, but they're just getting worse. A lot worse. I mean, you're getting angrier. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yes, keep drinking. <laughs> I'll solve your damn problems. Damn it. I need another beer. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I imagine you do. Freaking lush. I'm right, a horrible... Is, uh, wait, has the computer changed? It didn't look like this always, did it? Hmm. Uh, I can see the lies in Nelson's face, like a stain, like a black ink stain. 
I want to reach out and face your hands and wipe the fantasy off of it. We're afraid uh, that everything will come off. <laughs> everything will come off. And we're left holding a skull. But the television was to get the dog. My God, what lies a puppy? Come on. Felt like in front of Catherine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was there in Turner's office. Why was she dressed like that? Were they on a date? Was she dressed weirdly? I didn't really see it, I guess. That sexy smile of hers. God, she's a tease. Dr. Turner. Um, Dr. Turn on? I don't know. Uh, all the kids are drawings. So free and unself-conscious. It's like every kid is born an artistic genius. Oh uh, yeah, well, there's a... Telling about grief. Dr. Turner, maybe I don't trust Dr. Turner. How, sir, how could you not trust Dr. Turner? Come on. She brought the glass to his lips. The young man walked up to Turner, smiled, and apologized for something that had happened between them last week. Turner gave him this cold sneer and told him to fuck off. Wow. That little scene stuck with me. I tried imagining what the relationship was all about. Why did Dr. Turner hate this man? And this guy didn't inspire such anger. I, okay. I hate going to the pound. Oh, all those poor dogs. I saw a beautiful black lab. That's the kind of dog I would have gotten. Not one of these dumb little barking freaks. <laughs> All right. I would personally have gone for a black Labrador as well. I don't like the small jappy dogs. Uh, stupid little tried to bite me. And you guys are from the death. What a grateful little bitch. Uh, meditation. Was I also naked? I don't know. Maybe. She looked so smug. Like the cat is eating canary. I'm writing here. Uh, who am I writing about here? I don't know. I haven't touched anyone for so long. I've only hugged a shame boy, I suppose. Sometimes my skin feels brittle, like the shell of an egg. Can't take this denial much longer. I fantasize about her all the time. What's wrong with me? I mean, you're horny. That's what's wrong with you. Catherine was naked. I know she was naked. Was Alice naked too? Ah, uh, on tenth birthday, when Dad brought me a rifle. Okay. I'm getting angry. Bird was mocking me. Crowd louder. Suddenly, a strange fury came over me and my spine tingled. I grabbed the rifle and fired a shot at the animal. The crow let out a shriek and fell to the ground on my feet. I was astonished. I'd never even fired a gun before. My first shot took that bastard down. Dad would be so proud. Then I realized with horror that the crow was still alive. Oh no. Still alive, but terribly wounded, suffering. I had shot him in the wing. He would never fly again. He was helpless. He hauled himself up and tried to flap his broken wing. He stared at me, his mouth open, and screamed. His black eyes were more piercing than anything I've ever seen. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't leave him there to suffer, <laughs> to be attacked and eaten by other animals. So I shot him again. This blew off part of his legs. Aim, you fucker! Aim, you horrible piece of shit! Aim for the head! My god, it shrieked louder! A strange resentment for the creature started to overcome me. How dare it accuse me! How dare- Because you shot it, you stupid idiot! How dare it make me feel so guilty! I uh, hadn't meant to hurt it. I was filling with searing hateful violence. I, I, I mean, you, were, you meant to hurt it. Uh, I started meeting him- What?! I, 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 oh my god, yeah, 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 I would have shook my head too, I'd be like, kid, you're never getting a gun again, I'm so sorry, um, I'm sorry, Valky, I, I know how you love animals, <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, he's gonna kill, he's gonna kill, Sexy nurse. It's gonna be meditation sex and then it's gonna kill her. Who boy, who boy. That's the shame boy over there. We have seen that. The next TAT will be given in Jody's room again. <laughs> Look for the amusing children's book. Oh, the amusing children's book. Okay. Well, uh, let's go to the master bedroom. We haven't been there for a while. I'm impressed by members of humor. 
Yes. I I think I mean he was ten years old and everyone is an idiot when they're ten. But my god, you don't shoot a crow in the wing and then like shoot its leg off and then beat it to a pulp with a rifle. That is just No, that's just bad. Bad form. Oh, there's a diary over there, whatever. Oh yeah, this the, the radio show. Oh let's listen to the radio. Doctor Betty Oh, my back kitty cat in Bamberland. Died. Oh, my You're buddy what? in Bamberland. <gasps> she was uh, sick. Uh, s so old. 18. She, she was so thin. She died in my arms. When did it die? It was when? three months ago. And you're still upset? Are you sure this is the real problem? What do you mean? I'm not sure the death of your kitty is the real problem here. Well, what is it then? Probably your Why lack of sex, right? Why don't you take right? a guess? I can't. Try for me. I mean, that's the game, right? Am I afraid of death? I don't know. I don't is know. Is that it? Is that it? Am I afraid of losing people close to me? That might be it. I'm afraid of loss. I'm too attached, aren't I? <laughs> I don't want to give up anything that I consider to be mine. Oh, this crazy lady. was probably just a symbol of that attachment. Uh, she was really kind of an irritating little kitty anyway. Whoa. Always meowing and scratching the furniture and peeing on the rug. Our lady. house still smells bad, but... <laughs> lady. I didn't want to let her go. She was so pretty and died so slowly. Why does everything I love have to die? Why? Why? Why does God have to be like that? Whoa. I want to be a good person. I try to be a Christian, but but I think you're onto something here. <laughs> Kitty isn't really the problem. <laughs> Maybe I'm the problem. <laughs> Is that what you think? Maybe, Sandy. Maybe you're right. Oh. Let's take a commercial break. Yeah, let's let's take a commercial. <laughs> Oh, this game handling mental health problems with the subtlety uh, of a sledgehammer. Oh my goodness gracious, what insensitive claptrap. <laughs> yes, there are some Persona stuff going on here. She's going gonna, she's gonna to pop a shadow if we don't, don't watch it. Alright, I'm here. Let, let's... Of the Oh, no, yeah, the sounds in here. Let's look in the funny children's book. Sparky! When I'm homesick all the time. Uh, all the time? Not all the time. I like being home. I mean... Uh, all the time. I mean, when I'm at home, I'm not homesick. But I guess when I'm away, I certainly miss my home. Sure. Why is Sparky licking himself? Uh, <laughs> because it itches. Because he's nasty. Sparky is nasty. Again, you can't see my face. But, what the fuck? Where did daddy put the peanut butter? On whose balls did daddy put the peanut butter for Sparky to lick? What? No. No, Sparky's not licking daddy's balls because of peanut butter. Or, and no. He, because, because he's nasty. Because he can. How does Sparky feel about his little brother Yippy? Oh, Yippy. Uh, excuse me, I'm just gonna... I need to blow my nose, I'm sorry. It's the... it's the cold. Oh. Sorry about that. Uh, how does he feel? Uh... I don't know, he loves him, I guess. He's his brother. Little brother. <laughs> it's the peanut butter. He 
doesn't feel anything here for a GP. <laughs> I remember like... <laughs> <laughs> well, um, thanks, Grimith. I'm, I'm happy that I Why pleased you. Sparky Whoa! <laughs> oh god, he's not feeling guilty. He's feeling that fear of death. Look at his face. Oh my god. He stole Jippy's bone. He pooped on the master's carpet. He took a hole in the garden. He licked himself again. Uh, no, no, the, the, he would feel guilty because he pooped on the carpet. I mean, come on. Do dog. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Do dogs really dream? Yes. Yes. I mean, I've seen dogs running in their sleep, so that seems likely. I don't know, but from what I've seen, it seems likely. So yes, they do. I dream about sex all the time. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! What is this? Is that a sexy dog? Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, I dream about sex all the time. All the time? Not all the time. I dream about sex. Certainly. But not all the time. I, it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's like a fourth of my dream or something. It's, mm. Yeah, no. Not all the time. No, false. Sparky is... Uh... Having fun. Getting dinner. Too old to be doing this. A dirty dog. Mm. I, um... Wow. Wow. These images. No, Sparky. Sparky's too old for this. He no, no, Sparky. How can Mummy show Sparky that she loves him? Grrr. <laughs> Give him more milk. <laughs> Pet him. Let him sleep in her doghouse. Play with him. Um, Mummy can show Sparky that she loves him by playing with him. I think that's a. I think that's a way to show affection to your kids. Play with them. I give him more milk. Oh. Talking to things that aren't alive is an okay thing to do. I mean, what's the age of the person talking to things that are not alive? Then again, I see this like every day. Every time, like someone gets angry at their computer, they shout at their computer and talk to it, like it's its fault. It's like it's doing it out of spite. While the computer, of course, is not alive, so you're giving a personality and a soul to a thing that doesn't have one, and so you talk to it, and is it okay? Sure. I mean, sure. You can talk to inanimate things. It's not rational, but I don't think it's wrong, like in a moral sense. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I, I suppose it does, yes. Oh... Uh, it is, um, it's okay. it's okay. Some of the funnest times I've ever had included knives. Ick, fuck, excuse me? What is this? What is this? Why, why, but... <laughs> oh, John Hurt, you're killing me. You're killing me. Some of the funniest times I've ever had includes knives. No, no. No, I can't remember many fun things that included knives. I cut my dear, my best friend in, in like middle school horribly with a knife once. Out on an accident, and that was terrible, so no. No. <laughs> what is this picture? Is he getting his tail cut off? Is it balls on the block? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it's, uh. Oh boy. No. Oh, oh, great. Mike at work. Oh, boy. I put on my tie and everything. And my good shirt. Hi, honey. Is everything all right? No, it's only the third time I call. Okay, maybe the fourth. It doesn't matter. 
That's hey, phone hey, though. I just want to make sure you're all right. That's an American phone. Is Catherine there? Okay, bye. Hi, Catherine. Is Allison really doing all right? Of course I trust her. I just like to hear it from you. Okay. All right, fine. I Thanks, understand. Matt I won't call so much. I need an adult. Okay. I was thinking maybe <laughs> yes. I'll, uh, he is I'll looking. For he is very I much looking American Psycho in that church. Oh, you yeah. have. Totally right. Okay. Bye. So he has a he has a corner office as well. It's Michael Overton. Welcome back, stranger. Thanks. It's good to be back. Can I buy you lunch? Oh no, not today. I need to get settled. How's Allison? Well, I guess she's doing better now that the nurse has arrived. I always wanted to be a nurse. I think that taking care of people for a living would be a wonderful job. I gotta get back to work, Charlotte. You're really lucky to have a professional caregiver looking after poor Allison. I have to go. Oh. Whoa. Well, she is sort of gunning for him. Um, that much is true. And she also has a corner office, so I guess they're both very important on this in this office. Oh, we're back home. Damn it, I wanted wanted to see him have lunch. <laughs> in his American Psycho shirt. Hi. That pie I smell in the oven? Yes, it is. I know you like to shower after work, but hurry, because dinner's almost ready. What are we having? Beef Wellington. Mm. Catherine made it. She's a gourmet cook. <laughs> Spits it out. <laughs> So where's Catherine now meditating again? Yes, it's really good for the digestion. I already did it. Oh, okay. Now go and hurry because dinner's gonna be ready in a minute. Oh, and look what Catherine did to Jody's room. <laughs> it's gonna be the dog like nailed to the wall inside the room. <laughs> the blood and intestines everywhere. Oh. Uh. Did I just hear someone say, yeah, yeah, it was blood on the TV? <gasps> Catherine? Oh, meditating music. Catherine? She's meditating. Uh oh. Oh, there's gonna be boobs. Oh, yeah. There we go. Full side boob. Yeah, let's 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 close that door again. Let's just close that door. No, no. Oh, okay. We're in the pool because apparently we have a pool. <laughs> I just oh, I need to call. Let's just cool off. Oh. Oh, great! Loud laughing. Two laughing ladies care to join me in a nightcap. Alcohol before bed's not a good idea. She's right, Michael. You have to go to work in the morning. Well, she's always right. That's why she's the nurse. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. You are not used to the booze, man. That's uh, not how you drink a whiskey or whatever. And need some. Some more of the num num juice. It makes the pain go away. Oh, uh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, did the time of day change? Like, radically? From the last shot? It seems like it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, back to morning. Michael in bed. Here we go. Oh, damn dog. You better hurry, Michael. You're going to be late for work. Jesus, what time is it? It's time you're up and on your way. 
Oh, shut that dog up. You should have listened to us. Too much alcohol. Thanks for the host. <laughs> yeah, it's the two days. This is the third day. Uh, and we already have, well... Oh, God! <laughs> Jesus! Ha, 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 ha! Oh, Michael. Oh, Michael. Stupid dog and stupid wife and, and the booze and... Oh! Oh, she's... We're in the ghost room. Jody's breakfast. Some things for Jody's party. What party? Uh, next week. It's her birthday. Catherine suggests it's a birthday. It a party. Oh, it's a Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Six years old. Oh, it's all the drugs. And he pinned a tail on the donkey and invitations. <sighs> You're inviting other people? Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be a party without guests now, would it? I guess it wouldn't be. I guess not. That's going to be a great party, I hope. Don't forget the game. We I figured out a way for Jody to play. Uh -huh. That's going to be a surprise. Uh -huh. I hope we get to the party before the murder happens because I want to see that party. <laughs> oh, back to the office. Is that a Vincent Van Gogh painting in the background? <laughs> Mrs. Greenstreet. Yes, yes, it is Michael Overton. <laughs> Didn't recognize my voice, huh? He's in Portland. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Portland. Well, yes, it is kind of important. No, I don't want you to refer me to anyone else. Two days. Well, when he checks in, he just let him know I called. I hope his brother feels better. Massive coronary. Oh my. Yeah. Okay. That's massive. I understand. Porn collection. Thank you. No problem. God damn it! <laughs> oh, here comes the lady. Is everything okay, Michael? Yeah, everything's just goddamn wonderful. Wow. I just thought I'd ask if I could help. I don't need your help. Don't you have something to do? Wow, dude! Dude! What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Mid boss is angry. Hi. It's time to call by. My depressed wife again. Hi, honey. Yes, I got everything you asked for. I'm sure it'll be a great party. And my tie is Catherine? all... Untied. This party thing is going too far. <laughs> this party thing is fucked. Well, when can you talk about it? Oh, Jesus. Yes, but I want to speak to you when Allison's not around. Oh, it's the worst. During your meditation. Fine. Oh. Tonight. They're going to meditate. Uh-oh. Oh, Grimoth. Be there. This is on you. You wanted them to meditate, and here we go. It's got to happen. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I'm glad that Catherine and Michael are finally going to talk. Maybe Michael will be able to get a, a better grasp on the process. Yeah, the process. I'm a little curious myself as to just what Catherine has in mind. Oh, I don't know. The party thing seems a little risky to me. Of course, they'll have to cancel, and that might be quite a disappointment for Alison. On the other hand, maybe she's preparing Alison for future disappointments. I really don't know what to think. 
How about you? Me? Well, let me tell you something. This house is fucked. Traveling without a map is... Is smooth jazz, apparently. Because that's what's wrapping... Like, pop it up here. Okay. Uh, traveling without a map is an adventure, a disaster ready to happen. Impossible. Foolish. The only way to go. Um... I mean, I certainly like to plan my things in detail, if possible, so uh, I, I'm certainly a person who likes to be in control here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think I think traveling without a map is a disaster waiting to happen. Men who perform oral sex on a woman are... Oh, here we go again. Is this gonna change the scene of the meditation? Because that's what I'm getting from this. Men who perform oral sex on a woman are weak. <laughs> Come on. Giving. Sexy, stupid, smart. Smart? Smart? What? <laughs> trying to wrap my mind around this okay smart <laughs> this is a new IQ test oh yeah <laughs> yes Grimith <laughs> oh wow oh wow I should I should time you out for that I should time you out for that sure smart. I rarely pass up an unexpected opportunity to do something exciting I rarely pass up an unexpected opportunity to do something exciting. Well, that really depends on your definition of exciting, doesn't it? Mm. Unexpected opportunity. I don't like when things are unexpected. I like to have a plan. I don't really like surprises. Um, rarely pass up an unexpected. <laughs> then again, if it's exciting. I like I like exciting things. Sure, let's be a bit adventurous. The most important thing to learn in childhood is uh, love, responsibility, duty, respect, compassion. Hmm, I think you learn love on your own. Responsibility, duty, respect. Respect for what? That's the question. What am I supposed to respect? Smooth jazz band in my house. Uh, no, I think compassion is pretty important. I have made love out of doors. Out of doors? Wait, fucked a door? Wait, fucked? No, okay, outdoors. Oh, 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 I see. Uh, I have made love outdoors. Yes, yes, I have. Um... What's the difference between several and many? Isn't that sort of the same here? Um, once, yes. Uh, several? Hmm. Well, it's more than once. Hmm, but it's several. Uh, once. In general, what do Michael's co-workers feel toward him? Respect? No. Disdain? Ah, uh, no. Well, maybe now they do. Figure? I don't think so. Concern, friendship, concern. They they look very concerned. <laughs> oh boy, here we are. It's time to look in the Wiccan sex book again. The angel. No, we're not gonna read more bad poetry. What's in here again? Oh yeah, the this the Kama Sutra thing. Let's see what we got. What's the new pose? The sacred text is a, the art of sex magic. Now we're fucking talking. All right, sex magic. Uh, is the conscious utilization of orgasmic energy in the service of active real reality creation? This does sound like a porno. 
It derives from the belief that orgasm constitutes the most powerful of all human experiences, that orgasmic energy is harnessable, and that reality is determined by the individual. That sounds like a complete bag of horse shit to me. Uh, again, it's gonna teach me uh, about orgasms because I know about those. I um. As <laughs> a sex magician, right? Yes, that is, uh, that is, uh, that is, uh, that is certainly something that needs to come to. Well, there was that, there was that splat book that we looked at for, uh, F, uh, for an hour or so for, uh, uh Age of Darkness. Um, uh, that, that certainly had sex magic in it. Uh, uh, was, uh, <sighs> write the real down on paper. Oh, so okay, so I'm gonna. I need to write this down on paper and then have an orgasm over the paper. That's what I'm gathering here. Uh, while approaching orgasm for the seventh time. What? Seven? Seventh time? Seventh? Wow. I um, I have never have that many orgasms. I don't uh, um. Mm. I mean, in my life, but I hope this isn't this isn't the same evening, is it? Do I need to have an orgasm seven times in him? That's gonna hurt. That's not how that's not how the penis works. You can't. I don't think you can have that many <laughs> without hurting yourself somewhat. The power of sex magic is extraordinary. Uh, I think this book is full of horse shit. That's what I believe. Uh, <laughs> oh man, it's uh, it is it is certainly something. It has earned it has earned that uh, H gate I have on the channel and the warning I put up for sure. Um, okay, Michael is naked. Yeah, yeah. Surrounded by flesh, I crawl over him and get top. As he slips inside me, he is so hot that it is hard and hard that I gasp. As I move in rhythm, we pluck berries from the ground and eat them. I woke up very hungry. Well, that's great. <laughs> what a beautiful dream you have. Okay, what's on this thing? Michael opened the door while I was meditating. As usual, I was naked. I could feel his eyes all over me. <sighs> I'm so horny. Okay. Well, at least she's not like hiding it, I guess. Uh let's let's just go and have the questions. I there is so much so much lewdness around that I, I am everything's just sticky in here, you know? We we silently glide down. Where are you, horny nurse? I heard you're horny. Where where is the horniness? Ooh, it's gonna be the booze when cabinet. Sometimes I think I'm going to lose my mind. Uh yes. Like when I play this fucking game. Blindfolds are Scary Mysterious, exciting, fun, silly. It's a little blind eating. That's pretty fun. I'm thinking of getting a blindfold for sleeping because I um the sun beats in quite quite a lot in the morning. It's very bright and shines right in my face. So um Where's practical? <laughs> Scary mysterious exciting uh exciting, I guess. I've been in love. Uh, many times. Betting on an event makes it more thrilling for me. Uh, no. Would you ever go duck hunting? <laughs> what is this picture? Would I ever go duck hunting? Uh, no. Probably not. not I would never wake up and be like, let's go duck hunting. But if someone was like, hey, let's go duck hunting, I might be... maybe? Although I don't have a hunting license, so in Sweden I would be a criminal. So, no. 
How does this image make you feel? Uh, interested, disgusted, disturbed, scared. I don't, f I don't feel anything. Uh, that is a f slightly disturbing image. I feel. An appropriate title for this would be the tailor, the inspector, <laughs> Forrest Gump, bad boy. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh yes, bad boy. Hmm, I've seen that movie. Army boy. Also seen this movie. Um, this is probably army boy. Um, it looks like he's sort of being weighted. Maybe is there like a scale back here? Oh, sure. <laughs> the music in the background is great. It's still happy jazz music. Uh, that is definitely army boy. This photo would be more appealing. If the women were <laughs> naked, covered in syrup, kissing, having sex, mud wrestling. I mean, appealing? Uh, <laughs> that's the wrong guy here. Uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> that men. <laughs> Can I just be like, yeah, can I just be like, no, I don't, this, this picture, none of these make it more appealing to me. Covered in syrup would be funnier. So that, in a way, would make it more appealing to me, I suppose. <laughs> we'll go with covered in syrup. I feel in my heart that that is what Grimmett would have, would have picked. Uh, Sometimes it's what good to get drunk, dance like a maniac, and have sex with a stranger. I mean, sometimes, sure, that could be good, I guess. So it depends on the circumstances again, I feel. I mean, sure. Oh, is it sexy? Uh, well, on the dot, huh? And I'm dressed in my suit and everything. Come in. Welcome to my sexy witch room. We're gonna leave the door open. Mm. Allison thinks you're teaching me how to meditate. Might not be such a bad idea. You could use some relaxation. You're extremely tense. Me? Yeah. As a result of all that's happened. Been through a great deal of stress lately. I don't understand why uh, we're supporting Allison's illusion. We're not supporting Allison's illusion. We're supporting Allison. I don't have to tell you how fragile she is. I know. I know. She just seems like we're going in the wrong direction. Let's see. If we're gonna do uh, before I came. Blindfolds and sex here. In a fog, and you were sustaining it. It would have gone on that way until one of you broke down completely. <laughs> Don't think you're immune. Allison suffers openly. You contain it. Well, I don't think you can compare my mental state with Allison's. Anyway, where's Allison now? She's up and about. She's working around the house. She's off drugs completely. I don't know I if she's up to drugs. She's functioning better. She looked very drugged to me. We're getting deeper and deeper into this fantasy. and I'm just afraid that she's going to lose her whole grip on reality altogether. We can't go on pretending that Jody's still alive forever. No. But if I had contradicted her from the start, she simply would have shut me out. By supporting her, she permitted me to enter her world. So, where do we go from here? What's the end result? Well, we end by reliving the tragedy. Oh, great. What do you mean? Oh, great. One night, the accident must happen again. Oh, great. 
You don't mean we drive back to the same spot? No. I mean, we describe it to her, make her remember. But not until we've laid a foundation of acceptance. It sounds too risky. I don't think I can go through with this. Why don't you come home early tomorrow? Be here when I start my meditation at 5. We can do it together. OK. With Allison? No, I think for now it's best to do it separately. Mm-hmm. OK. I'm in. I guess. Good. <laughs> Why did you crash the car into a tree? That would be a solution to bike. Certainly. Good. To the dead girl's room. Is Allison gonna be there doing something creepy? Oh, f great! Fucking great wheelchair, huh? <laughs> yes, she's she's teasing the meditation for sure. Oh, here we go. Hi. Theoretically. Yes. I think it's brilliant. Okay, sure. But how's she going to pull it off? Uh, with both really of her hands over her head, I imagine. And there's such a high degree of risk. I hadn't really understood what Catherine was doing until now. I do wish she'd kept me more informed. Do you think it'll work? I mean, it might. If I received a lot of money, the first thing I would do is... Um, just go to Vegas. No, I would not go to Vegas. I would buy something expensive. Will Michael benefit from meditation? I mean, do you mean meditation or meditation? Because some meditation might be good for him. Will he benefit from sleeping with Catherine? That seems unlikely. Uh, I mean... Yes? <laughs> Question Michael's mark? Michael's mental state is comparable to Allison's. Michael's mental state is comparable to Allison's. Um, I mean, he is definitely unstable. And like, just, yeah, he's, um, he is not doing well. And uh, comparable? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I wouldn't mind somebody spying on me while I was in the bedroom. Uh, that really depends on the body, I would say. Uh, that really depends on who was spying on me. A complete stranger? Yes, I would mind that. Uh, so I will. <laughs> fucking game. Wouldn't mind if I wouldn't mind if somebody was. That is false. That is, that is false. I have hardly ever fantasized about having sex with animals. I'm fucking done. I am fucking done with this fucking game. Grimoth, what the fuck is this? What is this? What is this? I have <laughs> hardly ever. It's like hardly ever. Have <laughs> It's you know it's it's basically never, basically ever never. <laughs> Why? Why is this question here? I'm gonna have a talk sex scene if I depending on what I answer here. What the fuck is this? No. No, I'm not. No, I'm. I don't fantasize about having sex with animals. No, hardly ever. But if <laughs> if I say false, does that mean that I fantasize about it often? <laughs> is this, what is this? It's like the question, have you stopped beating your wife? It's a trap. Everything is a trap. What is this? No, where's the absolutely not option? I've hardly, hardly ever, ba 
basically never. Hardly. This is, this is the worst. Oh boy, I, I. False. You know what? You know what? We're gonna create. We're gonna create a poll here. We're gonna create a poll. You will decide, the viewer. I have hardly ever fantasized uh, fantasized about having and you will decide you will have this choice now uh true false Run and not say <laughs> because that's an admiration of guilt here we go Oh, it is, it is time. It's time to find out if you have hardly ever. <laughs> okay. All right, the votes have been cast, and uh, we have <laughs> we have true for the answer. We have hardly ever fantasized about having sex with animals. Hardly ever. Maybe some. Hardly ever. We don't even need to. You know, it's hardly. Whew. Good God. Good God. Is it going to be an animal sex scene uh, in his in his notes here? Because if it is, I I I might just walk away. Oh, flip the lights, share move, turn off again. It's more of his penthouse stuff. Kids, it was a, finally I saw it. The sign was subtle and devious. It was in the trees. They loomed behind us, and their shadows cast crooked shapes over the unsuspecting heads. The shadows marked us, scheduled us for disaster. If only I had noticed. If only I had a vision. Uh, I shouldn't go to Cathars. I know I shouldn't. Hmm. Catherine standing in the pond. She was wearing a long skirt. It was loose to her shoulders. Uh, that was about a uh, sort of sad, wistful expression on her face. So the nurse was standing around in the pond. Okay. I want to touch her hair and her breasts. Lay down on top of her and hold her. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Back to Jody's room, huh? Sure, let's go. Let's go with this. I want to see this meditation. This needs to happen. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, <laughs> the psychological profile would totally be worth it. Oh boy. Alright, creepy music is gone. That's something. Is it the action sketch? No, it's just this dog spanking or whatever's going on here. My god. Is it the fun? No? Don't let me... Oh, what's, gonna... what's on the TV? What's on the TV? Oh, is it hypnosis? It's wonderful, the attraction on the feeble-minded, of course. But the continuous motion, if they just let themselves follow it. Of course, you could stare at it till doomsday, Dr. Watson, with no effect at all. Still, it might make you a little drowsy. 
like the white ribbon of road at night when you're driving. The rhythm is smooth. Yeah, I, I think I think the ending here is uh, Michael kills everyone. Uh, Alison kills everyone. Or or like I, I don't know, the cops show up and and Catherine is revealed to be a psychotic murderer on the run or something. I don't know how this will end. It won't end well. I well, I don't know. At least there wasn't any porn on the TV. Thank God. Oh, great. One of these things. Sure. When yes. Let's try something different. I want you to look at these stereoscopic images and then answer some questions. Some people find it difficult to see these three-dimensional images at first. Yeah, So let I me do. give you a few simple instructions. First, stare at the center of the screen. Mm -hmm. Now, hold up your index finger midway between your eyes and the monitor. Focus on your finger. Good. Now, focus quickly on the screen again. Do you see how there are two images of your finger? Yes. That is the effect you wish to achieve with the photographs on the screen. All right. Put down your finger and let your eyes relax. Let your eyes go completely out of focus. That's the trick. Soon you will see the duplicate images on the screen begin to move. Not really. And then they will merge together as one image in the center of the screen. Give it a try. It might take several minutes. All right, I'm certainly letting my eyes sort of relax and give that thousand yard stare. It's hard to talk by doing this because when I talk, my <laughs> it automatically focuses my eyes again. Uh, let's see here. I mean, it sort of works. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, the game just screams at me now. Oh, that'll be the worst. Uh, if that happens, I will turn it off. I don't like... People who drink and drive are... <laughs> Normal? No. Stupid? Yes. Dangerous? Yes. Irresponsible? Yes. Breaking the law? Also yes. Can I have everything above except normal? <sighs> I... Well, they are above all else. Dangerous. I'm never afraid of inanimate objects. Never afraid of inanimate objects. Um, I have been freaked out by inanimate objects, I suppose, like creepy dolls and stuff. You look at them, you're like, yee. But uh, it's more like a, a subtle fear. I'm not fearing that they will sort of strangle me, I guess. But uh, still, I can find inanimate objects creepy. False. There's nothing wrong with taking sleeping pills every night. Every night. That's a that's a lot of sleeping pills. I think there's nothing wrong. Like isn't nothing isn't nothing. There's no moral here. Like there, it's not morally wrong. To take sleeping pills might not be good for you in the long run, but I don't think it's wrong. There's nothing wrong. If guns hadn't been invented. The world would be a better place, a worse place, B boring, a paradise. No, they were a better place. I mean, we would have found other ways to kill each other, but um, I mean, just think what the gunpowder did for revolutionary warfare in like the the the, re in the Renaissance era. Uh, it would have been very different. That's for sure. Bow and arrow, still, maybe? Not that easy to... Like, have a concealed carry with a bow and arrow. 
So that might have been better. Better place? Hmm. Hmm. Then again, we wouldn't have many action movies. Then again, we wouldn't have as dangerous wars. Then again, wars in the Middle Ages where there were no guns were certainly very nasty. Hmm. <laughs> guns and knives are animatories, yeah. Pareidolian Shadows, yeah, that's true. Pareidolian Shadows can certainly be freaky. Uh, probably a slightly better place. I, I don't know if it's going to be a much better place, but maybe a slightly better place. Who knows? It's true. If I hadn't had any weapons, we wouldn't have been able to hunt. But it's not weapons, it's guns. So, probably a better place. I would like to be given a sponge bath. Uh, me personally, no, no. I I need a high-powered shower. That's what I need. Not a sponge bath. That doesn't. That does not do it for me. The nose, nose. The ocean makes me think of shipwrecks, pirate treasure, romantic walks on the beach, sand castles, summer. Um, the ocean. <laughs> yes, I agree. Sponge bath just seems very tedious, doesn't it? Um, the ocean makes me think of. I mean, it says the ocean, not the beach. The beach makes me think of romantic. Uh, you know, pirate treasure. Sure. I keep a heavy object by my bed in case of burglars. Uh. No, I don't. No. My door is like a super secure, uh, heavy steel door in the middle of it. With like, you can't, even if you pop the hinges off it, it doesn't come off. It's like, it's like hooked into the frame that's also hooked into concrete and steel. So my front door is very safe. And, uh, and, uh, and, and my, my balcony is on the high top floor towards the street, so a burglar getting in that way would have to climb a lot to be very vis visible. So I'm not that afraid of burglars, actually. Um, maybe if I was on the lower floors, I would have, because there has been certainly, like, burglaries in this very building on the lower floors. So, uh, because the lower floors to the back is towards a forest, so it's easy to hide there. If I was down there, maybe, but for now, no. <laughs> Captain Blood. <laughs> uh. I am inspired by people who triumph against adversity. Inspired by trying to triumph against uh, adversity. Uh, yes, I think that could be inspiring. If I were a flea, I would be a miserable, depressed. <laughs> what kind of question is this? What kind of dog is this? If I were a flea, I would be a miserable... I mean, do I remember that I was a man before? And then became a flea? If that's true, then yes, I would be a miserable flea. Because fleas are disgusting. Yes. Oh, great, we're back here. <laughs> oh, she's going to say something nice. Michael? Hello, Dorothy. Hi, uh, I know you haven't said anything, and perhaps you want to keep it private, but did you and Allison decide to adopt another child? Uh, why do you ask? <laughs> I, I know it's none of my business, but I just want to tell you I'm really happy for you. I think it's a great idea. See, Excuse we were driving by the other day, and we saw Allison out walking a child in a wheelchair. What? Well, we would have stopped, but there was a nurse with her, and, well, I guess the new one's, um, handicapped. But she seemed like a cute little girl. Uh... Well, obviously, it's none of my business. I, have I they... Wait, have they kidnapped a handicapped girl? Bye. Is this gonna be, like, Stephen King's The Suffering? Where do they have taken a girl and then broken her legs to handicap her? Oh god. 
I'm dreading to come home. Oh boy. It's a doll. Yeah, it's probably a doll. That seems very likely. A, cr a creepy ass doll, probably. Because of all the questions we had about fear of inanimate objects. This could be super creepy something. Dog is barking. <laughs> yes, every day is a new shock. Someone is having fun. What's, what's wrong? Oh my god. I'm so happy. Oh, are you? What, you're crying because you're happy? Catherine gave this to me. Jody did it today. Yeah, are you sure? Maybe it's one we didn't see before. Probably buried in the stack. Michael, can't you see? This is a picture of her new dog. Oh, is it? Yeah, you're right. Is it Sparky it's licking the himself? the creative thing she's done since the accident. The accident? Yeah. Catherine got her to do it. She can work miracles. Well, nothing Catherine does surprises me anymore. Is she up in her room now? She's preparing for your session. Oh, yeah. Michael, be nice to her. Just go with it. Yeah, It'll go with wonderful. it. Oh, oh, it's going to be that again. You want She's me to sleep with her? I'm going to I'm going to sleep with that nurse and after that Allison is going to No, okay. not me. Wait. Who am I? Yes, I'm the voyeur. I'm the viewer. No, Michael is going to sleep with with Catherine, then Allison is going to sleep with Michael. That's what's going to happen. You're early. Mm. That's good. <laughs> I like early men. Mm. Hey, hey, EQ Shockwave, welcome. And congratulations to being the 100th follower. I'm upset. very happy. What's wrong? It's this, uh, this drawing Allison has. Hmm. She had a good reaction when I gave it to her. She's coming along much faster than I expected. It's just that she thinks. I mean, it's so much like Jody's drawings. How'd you do it? I simply traced uh, some parts of a few of Jody's drawings and put them together in the shape of the new dog. It's pretty clever, don't you think? Something of a shock. Well, I see that. And you look like you've had a bad day. Oh, touching. Also, I'm wearing my silk kimono. Come sit down on the bed. Let's get you relaxed. Oh. It won't hurt, I promise. Relax, you feel like a mannequin. It's not so easy. <laughs> Michael's face is... It's something. <laughs> Look at him. I don't know. You, I guess. Oh. <sighs> you don't have to be afraid of me. I'm just here to make you feel better. Where's that hand going, lady? Where's that hand going? It does feel good. I'm oh. supposed to. Mm. Oh, lady. Why don't you take your shirt off? Oh. Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh, yep. That. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is happening. This is happening. Hands, yeah, hands is a theme. We know hands. Oh. There's a lot of hands everywhere. <laughs> Fuck face he made. Oh. On my back. Oh, great. The fucking opera kicked in. Great. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Close your eyes, everyone, because this is happening. Oh, great. Oh, fucking great. Are we gonna have a full-on sex scene, or is it gonna fade out here? I hope it fades out. Please let it fade out. <laughs> uh. Okay. Alright. Welcome back. What happened? <laughs> I guess you can say you had a true meditative experience. It's called an orgasm. I feel like I'm floating. Why don't you take a shower? Oh, is he pantsless? I'll be going down to help Alice. Done this. No, no, you shouldn't have. Here. No, yeah, it's a uh, poor Allison. Poor Allison. <laughs> that. Mm. Oh. <laughs> this is complete. Of course, we've all heard stories of doctors sleeping with their patients, but this, this is so. I mean, oh. I'm the one who gave her the break. I helped her get her license. <laughs> for her sake. I cared about her. And this is how she repays me. Just what the hell is going on here? I... I... You tell me. <laughs> I've got to go fucking disgusted. Did Michael confess his infidelity to Alison? <sighs> I... Should he? I... What would that even do to her? Oh... Oh my god. Yes, we need, we need, need a, 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 a gif of John Hurt walking in, looking at the camera, being disgusted and then just walking off. <laughs> just, oh! Oh, that was the best. That was the best moment so far, I think. <laughs> Should Michael confess his infidelity? Ah, yeah, Man, these fucking questions. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The meditation scene could have gone worse. Uh, yes, I have certainly seen pictures of that meditation scene. And, and there was much less clothing in that one. So I think I have chosen things that made... Catherine have more clothes on, I suppose. I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, confess. Uh, y yes. Would she even understand though? Like, can she grasp it? W w maybe that's what makes her snap and just and just kill everyone. Um, <laughs> need another poll? Sure. Yes. Let's uh, confess. Question mark. Confess. Uh, yes, no, no opinion, all right, let's, uh, let's go, here's the vote, shall we confess? It's true, Alison was, so has certainly been fine about Michael sleeping with others before. She even wanted him more afterwards, so who can say? Who can say? I don't know. This is another one of these I, I just don't know yet. Uh, the results are in, and yes, we should confess. Alright, wonderful. 
we are definitely confessing then. Before we do that, I'm going to head off to the bathroom quickly again. I'm also going to break for the local recording. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, we'll see you in the next episode. If you're watching this live, I'll be back in a minute.